Hi guys, welcome to Sketchbook Sunday. Today, our original character that I am featuring actually has a birthday on July 19th. It is Tony from Cafe Beat PH, a local manga that is written by Yume7391, a good friend of mine and my editor for Cafe Ven. Tony, happy birthday, and this is for you. Speaking of of Yume7391, she's not only a writer and a mangaka, but she is also my editor for Cafe Ven or Ven. It is a light novel I will be releasing very soon. August 20th, 2020 is my tentative release date. It is going to be on Wattpad, so I will be releasing my first story out on Wattpad on the 2020 ice have a few stories out there from my old days where I wrote fan fiction, but it's on a different account. This time I am using the Marikit Studios account, and it is going to be an original story that has been bothering me for more than 10 years. It is a story about different people, acceptance, and how to belong, and breaking stereotypes as well. I love Cafe Ven and I hope you enjoy reading it when I release it. Speak, um, there's also a lot of changes that Askum has been going on for Marikit Studios. I updated actually my website. I have been wanting to update it to look more professional. I also am trying to rebrand myself as not Little Miss Marikit anymore because I am not so little, but as Marikit from Marikit Studios. There is a lot of potential good things that will be coming up soon. So I really want to be more professional. So I am actually concentrating right now on building a portfolio that I can sell to a lot more art clients and possibly build a career around my art. Aside from that, I was also very very stressed this week there's a lot of things going on at work in the new project that is going with my brother and the new project what's my story which is or actually it's my story with joe mcclellan phillips an author from australia which um hired me as her illustrator for the project it is going pretty well the story that's another story that talks about acceptance and a lot of um different person personalities so it's pr a personal story for kids by kids and we have been talking back and forth on how to release it when to release it and things like that i didn't realize how much things happen behind the scenes whenever a book or a project for children is released so this is a really big learning experience for me um i we were talking to our financier and engineer frank and he has been telling us about all these legal things that we need to do and need to learn and it's a big learning curve because i was thinking idealistically about the project honestly i was thinking of it just like an illustration project wherein i draw the illustrations and go but apparently there's a lot of things that are going on and i really have to think a lot before i jump in with both feet to this project anyway on good notes i have been doing a lot of harry potter fan art so that is my fan art friday feature and I really enjoy drawing the Marauders. I have seen a lot of Marauder out, art out there, but I really wanted to do one for myself and for friends of mine who love the Marauders as well. It was a really cute little painting that I did to chill from the long and arduous week, week that I had. It's been a stressful week so as to say with tony here actually i it's been planned that i was going to do sketchbook sunday with him 
but I really really felt good about drawing and painting him because he is such a cheerful character and ex- he exudes so much joy that I really enjoyed every single moment that I drew him this morning it was a really fun experience so thank you Yumi for trusting me with your baby um, with Tony I really had some difficulties with trying to recreate his hair because it had like that anime style hair that I am not used to doing uh, I was really aiming for something similar to Akira Ama- Amano Akira's um, Tuna from Reborn because he has similar hairstyle but I don't think I actually achieved it this time so we'll try again next time if you have any other suggestions for um, Sketchbook Sunday or Fan Art Friday, you can always leave it in the comments and let me know what you want me to draw next time. I am, next week, I actually have a schedule for Rick D. Rolf, a character from my friend Arya. And he has been look, traveling around the world. So look out for my... Um, version of Rickety Rolf and his first meeting with my original character and art persona Marikit Tala <laughs> so it's gonna be a really cute um, fan art plan that I have for them I have also been very active on Twitter so if you guys um, want to talk to me or speak to me go ahead and check my twitter account it's at Marikit studios and it's been fun i actually haven't understood how twitter worked until now so it's actually a good place to uh to connect with other artists since they are very welcoming and happy there and in twitter I have also in Instagram artists are very good but I think they are more open on Twitter I don't know why but I think it's the platform for artists to share retweet and you know just talk among themselves without much stress of having a chat box open or something speaking of challenges July is coming up and so there is july disney guys so i will be linking you down below to the prompt list for july disney guys and i am also doing kick in the creatives um portrait july and doodle washes world watercolor month at the same time it's gonna be hitting three birds with one stone so i am very excited for my month of july challenges i will also be posting the sketchbook tour for my june bug illustrations it is finished except for apollo apollo's garden piece which is a portfolio piece so that will be coming later because it's a really really big piece and i really want to make it sure that i finish it strong and beautiful and i show what i've learned from july from that from june from that piece it's halfway done well not halfway about the fourth done and there are sizing issues on the paper so there are problems that i am encountering that i haven't encountered with my july i'm june bug illustrations because this is actually a very big piece it's on an f6 size paper and it's massive I am just glad that the sizing issues were nowhere near his face. I am nearly going crazy because of that sizing issue. But hopefully I get it finished and I will post it up as soon as I am done. Alright. So I am almost done with Tony. I really enjoyed painting Tony. So guys, if you have any suggestions, violent reactions to Tony or... Or anything you want to say to me please comment it down below also comment down what you want me to do for next for the next sketchbook series 
or for Fan Art Fridays. I am going to be looking forward to your suggestions, comments, violent reactions down below. And I hope you click and subscribe and like this video. So if you love my content, please ring the bell and just show me some love. All right, keep on creating. Remember, think it, want it, dream it, and it's real. You believe it and you are what you feel. It's going to happen for you. Happy birthday, Tony, and thank you all.